chakra um, because like we say it's the center if it's unblocked we're fearless we're confident um, we have so much security about everything and one of the things for me is I lack self-confidence and I'm very fearful about a lot of things and a lot of things that might be very simple to a lot of you in this room but for instance for me one of the things driving to a place that I've never driven before I become very nervous right away I start thinking oh my god I'm gonna get lost I'm not gonna find my way something's gonna happen well that was put to the test at the beginning of February <clears throat> My dad was going back home, and I was in Markham. Long story short, I said, Dad, I will drive you to the airport. I've never driven to the airport before. And I got up that, that morning. I did my bandhan. I did my meditation. I spoke to Sri Mataji, and I asked her, I said, please direct me. Take me there safely. Let me get my dad to the airport safely and let me get home safely. The flight was in the night time. So I'm thinking it's gonna be a nice, beautiful day. It started off sunny, beautiful. About five to seven before it's time to leave to the airport, it starts snowing. Like, I don't mean, I mean a lot of snow. So now I'm driving, really the visibility was really poor as well. And I'm like, still nervous. But I said to my dad, I'm going to get you, dear dad. I'll get you there. So, driving, 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 I missed my exit. And I kept going. It was really bad. I ended up in Mississauga. From Markham, I ended up in Mississauga. I detoured. I stopped at a gas station. I asked the lady, I said, ma'am, I'm lost. Can you please tell me how to get, she says. Just turn around, follow the sign, you'll see it. I did exactly that, and I kept praying inside. I'm talking to Sri Mataji, please. We left home seven o'clock. I didn't get to the airport like 20 to 10 Ooh. because of that snow. I got there just in time, dad checked in. I couldn't find a parking spot. I was circling, I was covered in snow. The snow was up to my ankle. God dear, that checked in. I don't know how I made it home. I have no idea. I didn't know which way I was going, but the car just drove. It just told me, go. And I truly believe that the spirit was guiding me. And I truly believe that Sri Mataji was guiding me and Mother Kundalini was guiding me because I made it. I made it. And like I say, it might be a very simple thing for a lot of you here, but for me, it was overcoming a fear, and it was like, Debbie, you can do it. You can do it. Have confidence in yourself. So that was one very, you know, a little feat for me that I overcame. But I'm very anxious and I'm very nervous standing in front of the classroom, reading to people when Iwana would just, Iwana knows what's going on with us. She knows. <laughs> So we're, we're at the puja prayers and it's time to read. I'm sitting quietly, you know, okay, Isabel, you read, everything's good. And I'm trembling inside, I'm nervous. Iwana says, Debbie, you read. <laughs> so she knows and by her doing that, it helps me, it helps me. And she's helping us to overcome these fears and insecurities about ourselves. And like when Dr. Mishra was here, I was sitting in the back of the class and I'm hoping and praying that Iwana would not call me, would not because it was packed. And lo and behold, where's Debbie? <laughs> I'm like, and I'm saying to Angela, I'm like, oh no, please. But I came up here and I did what I had to do and I did the best that I could do and uh, that was it. So, um, by uh, having this beautiful knowledge and, and having such a great connection and everyone helping us out and guiding us along the way, it really helps.